I mean, there is only really one option to be honest with you, which is the the superb pop-up Hamilton gun slip. Um, it offers extra reinforced protection when it's in situ, so you can put your gun sort of just tucked neatly in here. It's got a carry handle, umbrella attachment, a neat little bag to put your chokes or your glasses or your, maybe your shotgun license or a drink in. And, and most importantly, it's very sturdy and very lightweight. Um, the, the standard version, which comes in three colours, will take quite comfortably a 30 inch barrel gun. But if you did want a longer gun, if you did have a longer gun, you'd probably need the deluxe version, which comes in this very smart sort of brown um, leatherette finish. And this will take much longer guns and semi autos as well. Cost price $89.95 for the, the standard one, the canvas one, and the deluxe is between £130 and £140. At the top end of electronics um, are, the, are the power to sport tacks. These, like the, the standard passive ear defenders from Powter, nice and slim line, very comfortable to wear. These particular ones have got a volume control and they will also turn themselves off if they're left on too long. But the quality of the sound, as with all Pelter products, is superb. You'll almost, with a manual trap, you'll hear the arm going off 40 yards away if they turn right up. Uh, but again, very comfortable to wear, um, adjustable headband, normally £189, uh, these are £50 off £139. Uh, at the top end, this is the newly launched Musto Pro Series, so you've got a nice sort of uh, very soft leather suede right hand side on this particular vest, so there's no problem in terms of, uh, it's completely snag free mounting. Also, this comes with the, the Musto D30 pad, which, which, is, um, which will go in the side of the vest to reduce recoil. Uh, really good high quality mesh, good quality full bellows cartridge pockets, and available in, in quite a few stylish colours. We've got, uh, we've got red, we've got this sort of royal blue, um, a green, and also a, a navy blue. Very, very similar looking to the, the world famous Castellani vest and new on the market, £125. And we start usually from small to around about 3XL. Okay, this is two of our most popular carry-all holdalls, if you like. Uh, both There's a Browning one and a Beretta one. Both have got sort of reinforced bases, so they are capable of carrying, you know, up to a 250 slab of cartridges. Lots of little pockets on the outside for glasses, extra lenses, here in protection and they both come with a, a padded carry handle also and they've got what's called a sort of a, a gate mouth uh, opening so you know um, a good wide opening so you can get plenty of uh, plenty of gear in there typically these cost a lot more than the smaller bags but you're looking at around about 50 or 60 pounds but they will carry absolutely everything that you chuck in them The top end of, of shooting eye protection and eyewear um, is Peeler, which is I'm sure everybody's heard. Made in America, um, excellent, excellent quality. The the latest range of glasses come with the new Zeiss Vivex two lenses. So uh, in terms of um, being optically correct, you can't buy anything better. Uh, a three lens kit. Um, in the Outlaw, which has got the carbon arms, you're looking at about six hundred pounds. There's various lenses available. One that's particularly popular at the minute is the is the the purple 66N, which is for popping orange targets, which a lot of the Olympic skeet shooters and the double trap shooters have been buying. We do Randolph, which uh, for for sort of under 300 pounds, you can get a a good three lens kit. This is their Falcon brand, which is extremely popular in the states. We also do we do Oakley, which you're looking at sort of sub 200 pound for a single lens pair of M frames or radars. And going down from that for sort of 70 or 80 pounds, you can get a good set of Beretta shooting glasses. In terms of what the competition shooter will look for, 
Porpo ones and, um, and Hull Sovereign, which are a much faster, harder hitting cartridge. Um, the, the lead is more consistent, they're made of better components, and there's a considerable difference in terms of the performance of these cartridges, particularly at range for sporting targets. One thing to point out though is they are a lot more expensive. So typically, whereas you've gone from about £160 a thousand, you're probably looking at about £230, £240 a thousand. So the, the key thing to remember is, if you're starting off, buying an expensive cartridge won't make you a better shot. Ultimately with guns, the more you pay, the better the handling and the better the performance. So here we have, in the sort of sub £5,000 category, uh, it's a Blazer F3, it's specifically built to our own Premier Gun specification and with that it, it, it's basically a slightly cheaper version of a professional to make, the, um, to make an F3 affordable for everybody. In terms of innovation and performance there's nothing to touch this gun on the market. The build quality is superb, it comes with a 10 year warranty, it's extremely versatile in terms of the balance, you've got the stock balancer in the stock. On this particular model Although you haven't got the, um, the balance weight on the barrel, you have got the facility for it and you can buy them as, a, as an added extra. Briley Spectrum chokes, uh, overboard barrels, adjustable trigger, transit case, and this comes in at a £1,000 less than a professional. It's 3995 And on our particular models, they all come with selected woodwork. Whether you're looking at sort of um, a new blazer or a a used Blaza, a used Beretta, you'll, you'll always get a good quality sort of um, airline approved transit case with that. I have a large range of used guns, it's normally about, about 150 in stock. I, I picked this out as a, a proven world beater and a gun that is renowned worldwide for, for winning competitions and winning medals. It's a Beretta DT10. Crossbolt mechanism for basically added strength. These guns are capable of firing well in excess of over a million rounds, so durability is second to none. Um, the DT stands for detachable trigger, so from a security and from a maintenance point of view, you can remove the trigger. Um, so if you're traveling abroad in competition, you only need to take a spare trigger mechanism. It's a little bit like a Pratsy MX-8 rather than a complete spare gun. Barrels are backboard, as in a lot of modern competitions are for lower improved ballistics. Um, the balance of the gun is superb. You know, you can go and shoot three or four hundred shells in a day with it and you wouldn't feel any, any sort of recoil or fatigue. And because the, the DT-11 is now on the market, which replaces this model, these are good value and can be bought for a couple of thousand pounds less than a new DT-11. This particular gun is 3695.